from inspiration, there's I think there's different ways that you can go about it. And one of the ways that I was going about it was just being inspired through the things that are around you and finding what you love and being inspired by that. But the one thing that I missed is to remember to root yourself in your... What's up guys, so today's video is going to be a bit different from the videos that I've been doing, which they've been more philosophical and theological and spiritual, and the videos that I did in the past a lot were motivational for everyone and creatives, and so that's kind of what I want to make this video about today, and so to do that, I wanted to share with you all something that happened to me this past week, and if you follow me on my Patreon account, then you know I have daily vlogs and in those daily vlogs I update you all on my day-to-day -day and things that are up and coming and share with you all the ups and downs uh, throughout the day and so I wanted to share with you all a clip uh, from my daily vlogs uh, that was last week that I was having a pretty rough day what's up guys so um, today wasn't so great and wasn't so great because it just kind of hit me like like mentally like the brain fog was just like came back at a whole nother level and I was like man I can't focus on anything like today I couldn't focus on anything I hate these days like these days are the worst days because everything in me all motivation all energy everything it's just gone it's not there and so it's like, I feel so restless, but I also feel so exhausted. And it's just, it's the worst feeling ever. So the day after I made that clip, I thought to myself, how do I get back to being motivated? How do I get back to being inspired and energized when I'm in this place of just feeling none of that. And as I was thinking about this, I realized something that I had totally forgotten. And it's easy to forget these things when you're just kind of going through the motions of life. And that's that's true for anybody, anybody with a nine to five job and also anybody that's a creative person or content creator. It is so easy to get caught in the motions of creating. And you can forget the one simple rule of thumb for creatives especially but also for anybody and i actually kind of made a video about this in the past and uh, it's called what gary vaynerchuk missed and if you don't know who gary vaynerchuk is check him out and if you haven't seen that video check it out but in that video i explained the importance of being inspired and how inspiration can be your fuel as a creative person and as just a person in general for living your day to day. Being inspired, I think, is so important for so many reasons. It gives you that energy. It gives you that, that drive and that motivation to keep going no matter what. And something that I've learned and figured out on my own is that when you're inspired by anything, then you can apply that inspiration to any other area. That energy is still within you. That energy still exists. I remember when I was working in a factory that I would get so inspired by a film or music or whatever, and I'd go into work the next day, and I would just be full of life, and I would do my job better. Like, being inspired is so important. But something that I missed in that video was from inspiration there's i think there's different ways that you can go about it and one of the ways that i was going about it was obviously a way that i talk about in that video which is just being inspired through the things that are around you and finding what you love and being inspired by that but the one thing that i missed is to remember to root yourself in your dreams and for me, it's my dream to be an actor. It's my dream to be a musician. And so last week when I was having that day that I was really just down and out, I, I had to put aside everything that I was doing and just say, I need to get back to the reason why I'm doing this. I need to get back to the reason why I wake up in the morning, why, I'm, why I feel like I'm alive, why I feel like I have purpose. 
And so what I did is I just like I stopped making that video because the first take was terrible <laughs> and I just started making music. I just started making music and I just I, I got back to that point of like just that creating in this really childlike manner and that really just kind of took off and I I found myself being inspired again I found myself being full of energy again and it was because I just had this 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 urge in me to get back to my dreams to root myself in my dreams but also with this childlikeness and I think that childlikeness is what we need to go about when being inspired because a lot of my mentors that I look up to and admire so much that are in my life and speak into my life like none of them like they're in their 70s and none of them have forgotten how to be childlike people tell them all the time like you don't look 70 you're like definitely in your 50s and they're like no it's because they just remain childlike they remain constantly inspired by this curiosity uh, for doing what they do like in what they do it's not just being inspired by the things that are around you but in doing what you do and what you love to do keeping that curiosity even when creating is a job it's keeping that curiosity of being childlike of there's this thing that like i don't know the answers but i know that this is what i like to do right now and there's all this there's this element of being present in that and so last week i remembered that and i i remembered okay i need to I need to go back to being a kid. I need to go back to rooting myself in my dreams. I need to go back to doing what I love. So I just create, I was just creating, I was doing all this music stuff. And this is a clip of the, the, the I don't know if it was the following day or it was a couple days after, but this is a clip of how that made me feel. So for me, just working on this song, that the samples that I sent you all um, put on the Patreon, Page. Working on that song gave me so much life, gave me so much inspiration. And today, when I fit, like the day that I tried, I forget, it, it was Tuesday or something like that, when I tried to do the vlog that I'm going to put on my YouTube channel, I just was not like, I was so, I mean, it was like a 20 minute take and I want the vlog to be like 10 minutes. And I'm like, this is horrible. But when I did something that I love, when I had that inspiration of, I love making music and I love the sounds I'm making and I, this, I'm this i getting stoked off this, I'm getting hyped off of it. When that happened, when I had that inspiration and I pressed record for the vlog today, it just flowed. So like I even feel, I mean, you can probably sense it. I have so much more energy today. And that is from doing what I love, being inspired by doing what I love and making music. So, and so as you can see, this childlikeness was really, it was kind of like re-inspiring me, reawakening me to energy and to motivation and to just doing the things that I love. And so out of that, I learned, you know, this, this place where I was really down and out, a lot of it, even that I didn't talk about in my daily vlogs had to do with doubting myself doubting my ability to create, doubting my ability to motivate people and to inspire people. And out of that, I just forgot to do that for myself. But I realized like this self-doubt kills inspiration. Self-doubt kills childlikeness. And it's just like there's this push and pull there, but it's this action that you have to take to let go of everything else. Let go of the things that you feel like you need to do I mean obviously there's things that you need to do like there's the necessities of life don't forget to do that don't forget to breathe <laughs> oh of course oh my god okay but do the things that like will fill you up like the things that that energize you and I promise you it doesn't matter it's like and, and here's the the connection that I made last week I made a video on what I would say to God if I met him face to face. But the way that I got my energy from that was inspiration that was caused by music that had nothing to do with that subject. And so inspiration, even for your job, for your creations, they don't have to be related in the least bit. It's just being yourself, being going back to being a kid. Me and, me and one of my best friends, we have this saying, and it's when I grow up, I wanna be a kid. 
And I find myself saying that a lot because it's so true. When I grow up, I want to be a kid. I want to continue to be a kid. I want to create like a kid would create. And so I really just wanted to share that with you all today. And I hope that it means something to some of you all. Um, if, if it did, please let me know in the comments. I love hearing y'all's uh, stories about how my content you know, inspires you. It really humbles me and changes me and it's just, it makes me want to do it all the more. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you misfits in the next video. Peace.